The mother who is giving a new meaning to the term, it takes a village. This uh, right here is her mugshot. She is being accused of being part of a network of friends and family who orchestrated this brazen jailbreak right here by an inmate who just happens to be her son. ABC's Lindsay Janice is all over the story this morning. Good morning all to you. All over it. Good morning, Dan. Derek Estell now on the run for a sixth straight day. Police arrested his mom overnight after listening to recorded phone calls between the two. And the fresh details of his escape might have you wondering why prison staff didn't see this one coming. It looks about as simple as a jailbreak can get. Derek Estelle appears to be having a routine conversation on the inmate phone when one of his alleged accomplices distracts deputies, giving him a small window of time to dive through an actual window into the prison waiting room. It's, it's like watching the Three Stooges. Police now say it was his mother, Glenda Estelle, on the phone giving him the green light with the words, it's all good. She's now behind bars after police say they listened to recordings of 40 phone calls made by Estelle to his mom in the month leading up to his escape. They say the two had been hatching the plan. That anybody that would make 40 phone calls then jump through a window. I mean, it's almost like getting the sheriff involved and, hey, I'm going to escape tomorrow. Uh, my mom will be outside a couple blocks away. Just give me a head start. I mean, it's almost that silly. The plot allegedly included this man, who police say is the stepfather of Estelle's girlfriend, allegedly sent to create a diversion by trying to deposit money to the account of an inmate who police say doesn't exist. That's when Derek makes a break, sprinting to this getaway car police say was allegedly driven by his girlfriend, Tamara Upshaw. With Estelle's mother behind bars and police putting pressure on alleged associates from his time in jail, law enforcement experts say it's unlikely the man they call armed and dangerous will be on the run for much longer. This was no escape from Alcatraz. Estelle had been serving hard time for armed burglary in the state penitentiary, but he had just been transferred to the lower security Garland County Jailhouse ahead of a court appearance. Dan and Bianca were told that the deputies have now patched up that window, made the, made the uh, yeah. gap a little smaller. So it doesn't smaller. happen again. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's just shocking given that you would assume that these phone calls were recorded. Obviously, they were, and they could Four care less. Of them. Yeah. They didn't bother to listen. <laughs> All right, Lindsay, thank, thank you. you.